So like, I mean, what's it, what's it feel like to, to bring a show like this, like to Comic Con, and like get, get to see the the fans' reactions? It's amazing. This is my first time at Comic Con actually, and the energy already is nuts. Like it's it's the morning right now, and there are so many people here, and to be able to talk about problem solvers and bring it here to everybody and see the reactions like up close is pretty nuts. For people who aren't that familiar with the show, can you talk about like the character you play and like maybe where you might, why, why, why I want to see him go in future episodes? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Problem Solvers is a show about these three crazy characters. I play uh, a guy named Horace, who's kind of like the uh, he's 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 the wise one. I like to say, you know, we have Alpha, he's just crazy, he's like raging, always eating nachos and stuff. Uh, then we got uh, Roba, who's just like the kind of neurotic guy, and they all kind of get into trouble. And then there's me, and I'm kind of like, guys, guys, let's all keep it together. I try to lead the team, and it never really works. So uh, I hope to see Horace, you know. Maybe get a girl in the future, you know? He fell in love with that one girl and it didn't turn out too well. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. He's, he's the voice of reason kind of reason? He is. He is. Sometimes the voice of reason, you know, he, he gets uh, a lot of weird ideas in episodes, but he's the one that's kind of able to keep it, like, you know, pretty calm. calm calmer than the other ones, like Alpha and Roba. So I talk about, like, your initial, I mean, it must have been a very intriguing script to read when it's like, okay, you got all these weird creatures just kind of milling around. I mean, how would you really respond to the script initially? Yeah, yeah. Honestly, uh, I'm a big Adult Swim fan, and I love Tim and Eric's awesome show and a, and a bunch of other, like, Adventure Time. So so when I saw this, I was like, okay, cool. I like this. It's kind of got that weird kind of weird humor that maybe some people are going to get and some people won't get. And then, you know, I really dove into it. I'm like, this character is amazing. It's, it's, it's so awesome to play. It's so much fun. I mean, Ben, our creator, is, is cool. He does uh, the voice of Alfe, and he also does the voice of uh, Roba. So we're able to just have fun in the studio. And, uh, yeah, getting the script was amazing. That must be really cool to have the have the creator actually like come out come out and, and like actually do the voices too. I know there's a few a few shows that are like that that the creator and writer and director they're all working doing voices as well. So does that really kind of help the process along? Definitely, definitely. And I mean, I'm, I always have to be on my I'm like oh chilling. And then Ben walks and I'm like oh okay. All right, here we go, guys. Let's do this. Yeah. Hey, 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 Ben. Nice to see you, man. And he pretends not to see me. It's really weird. But no, no, we, uh, yeah, it's, it's great to have him in there because uh, we get to play around. He has a lot of ideas. I get to throw him ideas that never get used. But hey, I still get to throw him around. And that's cool. Because that, that one time that it does get used, I mean, it'll make it. My idea gets used. I will uh, definitely be putting that all over my Twitter. So yeah, it'll be a big thing. Like, could you have, like, is, like, are you like a regular on Twitter? I mean, do you, do you follow do the fans? Like, kind of contact you a lot with, yeah, through there. I get a lot of. Uh, I mean, I'm not a lot of fans. Don't let me fool you. Like, I have a lot. I think I'm at eight thousand, which uh, I'm. You know, it's, it's okay. It's okay. I have a lot of um, thirteen year old Brazilian girls that follow me. So that's that's something. Cool. That's a fun fact. Yeah. <laughs> and they uh, they don't really know how to take the show yet. They're not sure. I get that a lot. A lot of people are confused, but then after they watch a few episodes, they really start to enjoy it and love it. And I'm like, thank you. Welcome aboard. It's like, hey, you're in that show that's kind of weird and I don't get yet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're like, uh, whoa, all the colors. I'm like, yeah, you know you love it. You love it. Yeah. It's almost like the show's like hypnotizing you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It is, a, it is a hypnotizing show. So, yeah, no, I love it. It's good. So, like, I mean, are you... I believe you're you kind of voicing the third season right now, then, I believe? Or? Well, right now, uh, we're still working on some episodes. We're waiting uh, to hear, I think, fully on uh, what we're going to be doing in the future uh, as far as them goes. But, yeah, we're still cranking out episodes, doing it every day at Cartoon Network Studios. I mean, you, is there anything else that you work on, like, either voice-wise or anything else that you have gone besides? I have a series called 10 Things I Hate About You that was on uh, ABC Family. And, uh, yeah, now, now I'm just uh, completely focusing on this, making this my time. So it's, it's been a lot of fun. So just what would you like to say to the, to the fans who have been supporting the show so far about uh, why did you keep tuning in? Hey guys, you guys are awesome. Thank you for tuning in. I know Horace is kind of the boring character on the show sometimes, but I promise she's going to get a little crazy. And thank you for the support. And uh, get ready for some uh, real weird, fun episodes of the future.